And tonight, the Jackson County Medical Examiner is investigating 13 possible heat-related deaths right here in our area. Now, doctors say the heat is affecting people who already have medical conditions. Christina Medina is live with the prescription for surviving this heat. Christina. Yes, Mark. Well, doctors told me the quickest way to cool down if you're overheated is to mist yourself with some cool water and then use a fan. They say don't use ice because that will actually take your body longer to cool down. With this weather, you can find a lot more people working out later and later. Oh, over 45 years. Is this one of the worst summers you remember? No. Nah. I'm just older than the other summers. <laughs> Alice Siegel's still getting in her five miles, but drinking a lot more water. When I heard on the news, I thought it was a repeat of last week when they said seven to ten more days. This excessive heat warning sticking around. Doctors say with the number of suspected heat related deaths in the area, we need to carefully monitor all aspects of our health, including our sleep. Heat's been shown to have increased interruption of, of sleep. So when you're trying to sleep in a warm environment, you wake up more often, you sometimes have difficulty falling asleep. And if you don't get a good night's rest, it's even tougher to endure the heat the next day. And you had two or three nights in a row of that environment, and it can certainly take its toll. Dr. Stevens says he worries about those who are sleeping in a warm home. Staying with friends, neighbors, you know, even extended family. If there's an air conditioner or a place, sleeping on a couch in an air conditioned house is probably better than sleeping in an unconditioned and air conditioned house in your own bedroom. For those still out in this heat, it's really, really pretty brutal. They're taking all precautions to make sure they stay as safe as possible. And if you do have to sleep in a room with no air conditioning, the doctor suggests that you go to bed later so that the room is cooler. Also, you can take a frozen drink to bed with you to help cool down your body. You should also know that certain medications like antidepressants make it more difficult for your body to cool down. And doctors say you should check on anyone who went to bed not feeling well, even during the night. Reporting live in Kansas City tonight, Christina Medina, NBC Action News.